Hi everyone, welcome back to the channel. So, if you're new, hit that subscribe button. This doesn't cost anything, so why not? I wanted to do a tour update of the rig. So this is the rig. So, we'll start at the top. So this is the canopy I built, and as you can see, it's got a bar running through the centre of the front, and then it's got metal bars running at the back. And then I created this at the back here, screwed into the back of this frame, so I could adjust it up and down. Um, as you can see, it's quite messy at the back of my rig. I don't care, I don't care about why, they don't care about anything. They were the fans that are running on the dashboard, you can see when we go to the front of the dash. And that is the PC and the overkill is here. So this is a Cirrus, um, I think it's a Lyric 5, this one, or a 9. It's a £2,000 unit and then I've got 400, 300 quid of the speakers on the back so it, it's very over the top, it's on the file quality but I didn't buy them for this, I already had them so we're using them for that. And the side there you've got the antennas and that is for my Wi-Fi. This is on the top, so on the top I have the mic which I'm now talking into which is there and then I also have a steering wheel mounted above. This was a mount that I manufactured from the one that used to be holding a monitor. Side mounted there on this little table I have my Fanatec wheel, another wheel, my headphones which I love. Uh, that is one of my VR headsets and then down below we have the book kicker amplifier. That's how my keyboard works and this is going to see the rig properly. So now you can see it from a driving point of view what I've got. The dash, uh, which with the vents in, was manufactured out of wood and it's covered in like a PVC material. And then the units on the side, I've got a tablet on my right hand side. And on the left hand side, I've got an old phone. And then I've got an actual proper, um, I don't, I think this is a 480, I don't, I have something like that um, unit which controls, which is showing my tyre temps at this time. And then in the centre, I've got the Pro Race, which I don't really like, unit. And then of course on the wheel I have my speed. Now th these can be all set for different things obviously and this isn't what I'd normally drive with. I just did it to show you because I wanted the bright colours so you can see. On the right hand side you'll see a button box down below. We saw that in the first part of the video but down to my right hand side I have the button box and they're all controls and they're all what I use in uh, ACC which is what's on at the minute. I've just noticed watching the playback, it appears like the centre of the steering wheel's moving. It isn't, it's just the trick of the camera. It's because obviously I'm videoing in um, and the light's not the best, but I can assure you that wheel does not move on its mount. So, you can see a bit, this is how I run. So I have it this way and I have my wheel, I don't have a wheel showing, I have a partial part of the dash, just the top and I have more window. Is the field of view right? No, well I, for me it is, so it's perfect. The one thing that annoys me more than anything else when you go on forums is the people that say, you feel the view is wrong, you go faster with it, with it different. I don't care. Sim racing is about fun. For me anyway, it's all about having fun. This gives me the most immersive experience and that's all I really care about. I don't care about, is it gonna be, does it look right? Am I monitored exactly to the millimetre where they need to be? Not for me, it doesn't matter. I'm immersed doing it this way, which is why I have the wheel the way it is and why I have my view set up the way it is. It's perfect for me, absolutely perfect. And that's what it should be all be about. Now, one thing, that, the most difficult part of setting up my rig and getting it just like I wanted it was a seat. So I've been through a few seats, so well, it doesn't really matter because I used one of the other seats because I have another rig in another room which is just for the PlayStation 5 uh, and that's to play GT7. But on this one I had a, I can't remember what make it is. I'm just waiting for someone to pick it up, it's just down back side of me. So I had a Cobra Monaco a sports seat which is more like a bucket seat and I loved the fact, I loved it at first and it was really good and I loved the way it hugged you in the sides and it felt really nice. I didn't have much movement in the seat which is the problem I had with the previous seat. I didn't, I had too much movement, I could feel myself moving around, I wanted something to pin me to the seat if you know what I mean. So anyway, it, it, after about oh, a couple of weeks of using it, I've noticed I was getting quite a bad, I, I didn't know it was connected because I, uh, anybody that knows I've got a really really bad ankle. 
uh, which is like, I can drive, but I can only drive for certain lengths of time and then I have to stop and then let it rest again and I can do it again. I can't drive a car that's a manual car at all. I have an automatic vehicle, so in real life, I drive this manually, but I have an auto clutch. So I thought it was that, but what happened was it was actually the way my leg was positioned when I was in the seat and nothing I could do by tilting it, moving it. I moved it up and down on the tilt. I moved it in and out. I couldn't get it right. So eventually, I bought the seat that I'm in. I saw it, you saw it briefly. You did see it. It's a GT Amiga, and it's a cheap one. They do two at 139 quid. I think this is a 9 or an RS6 or an RS... One of the two. You'll see by the image, and it's 139 quid. It was the cheapest public seat I could find on, on the internet. I wasn't looking for the cheapest seat. I was going to buy a Sparco one, but this had... I thought, I'll buy this, and if I don't like it, I'll send it back. Well, the seat's fantastic, 139 quid, I'm getting no pain anymore, and it hugs me at the back. It won't suit everybody this, because people might not like the fact that it's crimping your kind of thing at your shoulders. Uh, I actually like that, that's why I have a harness on here, and it's purely, it's alright, it costs it to make it more immersive. But it also helps me, because I do find myself one moving about in my seat. That's been probably the hardest part of setting this rig up getting the seat just like I wanted it. Everything else has been through hundreds of revisions. No, I have been through a lot of revisions. This has changed so many times. I've done so much to it. The one thing I've kept the same, so all the way through is the Fanatec gear. I've changed the wheelbase to a DD1. I've kept the pedals because I don't see why I wouldn't keep them. My pedals have got the brake, mo brake kit, performance kit is it, and I do have a, the dampener on the brake and I also have the dampener on the accelerator set at one because I quite like the feel it gives you it's just giving you that little bit and it stops it being as springy and bouncy it feels more like a car if you like uh, that's how I have my brakes and I, I won't change them I was thinking about getting some is it Huskinveld or whatever they are sprints um, but it'd probably sell mine and put 400 quid to and would I notice a difference I'm never going to be one of these racers that's running at the fastest time on the fa on every track. I don't care. I do it for fun, and that's what it's about for me. When I race online, I enter races that are a low class because I can just have fun. I get passed about a little bit, which isn't very nice, no. But I, I'm not at the level where I can race at them top races, and I don't know if I ever will be. But because it's all for fun for me, and and that's to me what it should be. There's too many people take this thing. It's not a bloody car. <laughs> it's just. A simulator it's a game when all said and done it's a game whether it's i racing acc ac gt7 on the playstation they're all games and i've tried i've tried all of them i've got r factor 2 i've got race room and to a degree they all have small bits alike i like ams2 love it but it doesn't handle, the car doesn't feel to handle as nicely as it does. ACC is my favourite, and it's probably because I put far more hours into ACC than any other game. But it's what I like. So that's what I've stuck with. But if you should go with whatever game suits you. If you like playing F1, don't be put off by people saying it's, it's this sim cage, which seems to be the new saying. Uh, it doesn't matter. It's all about having fun. I play F1 a lot. I've got, I think I've got 200 hours in on F1 2021. Uh, I've won the championship three times and all the best of it. And it's just fun because that's what it's about. So don't be put off by that. Don't be put off whatever you do. If you're using a console to play on, don't be put off by people saying PC is the best, PC is this. The good PC is the great, and and I am very fortunate that I have all the have the consoles and the PC, and I prefer PC. But honestly, do not be put off by it because it makes no difference whatsoever. So I've waffled on for long enough. I hope you liked the video. It was a bit of a different one. Thanks very much. Have a fantastic day, and I shall see you very soon with a steering wheel review.